what is going on this morning? I am just sitting out here in my chair and I am waiting for transportation to come pick me up to take me to my physical therapy appointment. Today's appointment is just the basic evaluation to see what is bringing me to them and what they could possibly do to help me with my neck pain. Later on today, I have a meeting with someone. I'm really excited about it. I've been waiting to meet with her for some time now. And I feel really, really positive about this. Um, it's gonna be a four hour meeting, give or take. And I'm really excited about it. Hopefully they're here soon. And hopefully the weather holds up today. But just in case, I'm wearing my my weekly visit with the pain doctor. So we upped the dose in my pump to 250 mics and I'm wearing the sunglasses right now because the fluorescent lights are really triggering the pain in my neck. Um, we did discuss that it's something called photophobia and it's associated with the spinal headaches that I had from the CSF leak. And it's not supposed to be permanent. It will eventually go away. But my neck pain is constant. It's been constant. And I didn't know he can give me something in office for it before doing anything surgical. So that is what we're doing today. He's going to put shots in my trigger points. I really don't know what that is until he actually does it. And I wish I could be showing you guys all this but eh, doctors are not a fan of getting recorded when they're doing any type of procedures and I get why so hopefully what he will do soon will alleviate some of the pain I feel because I got my range of motion almost back to my level of normal last night before going to bed which I thought was perfect night before going in to get an increase is when you get your range of motion back and it's going to start all over again with losing the muscle tone for this week but it's just until we find the perfect dose so I just have to sit tight until he comes back in here with I guess some shots and that is what I'll do. So I guess that's what it looks like. Standard injection. And they're about to come in here with the doctor and do that. Now that I look at it, it looks like a really long needle. But again, if it alleviates my pain, so be it. I came back from the pain doctor and I got a call. And it was good news. I've been approved for some services. I'm not clear on what they are just as of yet, but it may include um, services to help me in the home. So yeah, the injections in my neck. So when he said shot, I thought shot as in singular. No, that shot, he was like, I want to say pinpricking, but like it hurt more than a pinprick, like 10 times all along my, the back, like the back of my neck. Um, it doesn't hurt enough to like make you scream out in pain, but it's painful. <laughs> um, I had to take a lot of deep breaths and he was trying to talk to me to distract me and it wasn't that long. Like it was within two minutes, maybe less. But in those moments, I can't have casual conversation. <laughs> so, yeah. And it's supposed to take away the pain in my neck. To be honest, some of the pain is still there. But it's taken off maybe a lot of the pressure that I was feeling. Because on the way there in the transportation vehicle... I made it a point not to take out my phone at all. I didn't want to be looking at my phone. I didn't want to be craning my neck down to look at it. 
so that car ride was maybe half an hour so I did not look at it at all and even with my head upright in a proper position it was beginning to hurt really really bad so I'm grateful that my pain doctor had something he can give me I don't know how long it's gonna last for he said it can last for a few months but we're still going to do the nerve block procedure just to have definitive treatment. His words, not mine. Um, as for what happened the rest of the afternoon, I had to do a very long email to some, or type up a very long email to someone because that's the way I prefer to communicate now with agencies, medical professionals anything other than family and friends because on the phone i've noticed i get nervous and i forget to mention everything i want to say in an email i can edit as i go and make sure i have everything i want to say before i press send i have to see another neurologist i would say you'd be lucky if you can find a neurologist that would say oh i'll see you like next week or even in three weeks usually they are so booked you don't see them for like two months after you try to schedule and that's exactly what happened to me at first she was like we have openings in july i was like great but then it turned out to be that my appointment is going to be in august my doctor like my primary has to send a referral that i think they've already sent to be honest and so I can be put on their wait list just in case they have a cancellation and they can bump me up. Right now I have my own little pet project going on. I am trying to create, build, discover my family tree. And it's a really interesting project. I'm getting like further than I thought I would with my grandparents. So it's, it gets really interesting and it's fun, at least for me, <laughs> and it's a little bit obsessive because you want to keep going because you find information, just a sliver of information about someone and it leads to breadcrumbs all over the place to this person, that person. So you just want to keep going at it. I'm purposely not sitting in the wheelchair. I'm sitting, um, I can't even see it. A regular chair right now at my table just because I did get some range of motion yesterday as I was bouncing back from my previous dose but we've increased it as you know so I'm just waiting for when I don't have that range of motion for this week and again I want to utilize my tools around me when I need them. I don't want to become so dependent on a tool just because it's comfortable or it's faster. I have to remember this is for pain control.